Hey everybody and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last time we escaped the Soviet installation. Uh, just about with our lives if you count the uh, couple of slight transgressions that we had. Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We've wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. And Jacob went off to an old copper mine to help his people. Now it looks like Trinity's hanging around here and they've found probably Sophia. Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Hmm. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least, for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on. He did say that. Like, he really did say as much. Okay, so, let's get that out of the way. And go back to that. Uh, upgrades available for the pistol. Let's do a large magazine. And that means nothing for the right there. Uh, the uh, semi automatic, I think it is. Right, survivor, and we can only do one more. We need the grenade launcher for that, pump action shotgun for that. Well, seven more skills in any category. So, yeah, we could have a, a little while for that. Okay. Oh, six more. So, at least now we know we're getting a pump action shotgun and a grenade launcher. Ooh, I thought I'd miss that. Optional mission available, eh? Where is he? She. It. Don't shoot. I'm with Jacob. He oh, there you are. Wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh God, are you all right? I'll live, but I need a safe place to rest in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there, but I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Go on, salesman. Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Where is Jacob this? was right about you. Oh, it's over there. Talking dirty to me as soon as he said about a pistol upgrade. Alright, let's get on it then. Except this time, we have a bigger gun. Here, puppies. Scramble up here. No. I have an idea. That did not work as well as I was hoping. I mean, it could have been worse. Huh? 
How do I, uh... There we go. Did I really only kill one of them with the poison club like that? Although I wonder how much that just says about me. Maybe I just fight the poison cloud in a bad place. However, it was effective. I just need to use it in that choke cup next time instead. That's probably where I went wrong. Alright, so he's down there. To be completely fair, like, that boogie boogie thing is right there. So, I might end up doing it. I didn't realise it was going to be so close. Uh, where are you, buddy? Did there you clear you. out the cave? The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but... You weren't the one who needed it. Right, how do I use it? How do I use it? Or is it already used? I don't... I don't hey buddy! Uh, whatever. Okay, so let's check this out. Drop off, and that attracts the other guy. The guy's like, "Hey, what's what's going on over here?" What do you see? Should be where the fuck is he gone? Yo, dude, there was only like three of you. Huh? Ah, there we go. Should be good. Oh, I see. Blood. Hurt. Stop! No closer. I'm not. Hey. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. D I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You hurt. <laughs> what I just the? need to <laughs> sit down for a moment. <laughs> Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. Oh yeah, there's a massive fucking blood trail. How did I miss that? <laughs> what can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. 
Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. A new bow, you say? I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Alright, you have my attention. Jacob's people were forced to work here. I see, it's up that way. Like, they got my attention at Nubo. God, I'm such a whore. Whoa! 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 Of all the things I was expecting, that was not one of them. <laughs> um, actually, I guess I probably should have. There's a, there's a picture of a cat right there. Yeah, that's dumb of me. Okay, so we are going this way, apparently. Oh. Oh wait, can we actually? Yes, we can. There's a trail here, well worn. Okay. Did I just? It must have been dripping water. you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. How does... How does she even know of... What? Um. What more can you tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. But they angered Baba Yaga. She drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. <laughs> he was in the gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the veil to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the veil. Nothing good happens in that place. Okay. Whoa, hello. That's the tomb. Laura, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. How do you even know how to use these radios? Um, how do I get back? Did you hear that? That was the witch! How do I turn back? Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it.
Do you know, I'm actually surprised that that didn't happen on the first one. So, you know. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden wall. Oh, but I want to. to that path will take you straight to the veil. But I want the temple. What does that sound? I need the temple. Oh. Uh, let's take that, and let's have me one of these, some of this. Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains, no food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself, but the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music, and from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. Ooh. Good guy scout. And with that, I think I'm going to end this off here. So, next time on Rise of the Tomb Raider, we shall explore the voice of God. See you guys then.